Gulistan is where it's at. Gulistan is where it's always going to be at. You know what I mean? Just chilled out vibes. You know, Pakistan and India both share a very rich land known as Punjab. And this is where they do the spinach vibes. You know, from territory, different territories in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, the whole subcontinent, um, you know, the food changes and the music changes. You know, in India we have at least five schools of tabla playing. It's kind of like martial art, you know, you have different sects. You know, in the Punjab, obviously we have the Punjab school of tabla playing, which I kind of represent. So this is from the Punjab. Punjab, we concentrate a lot on Kaida, which is like poetry. We improvise, and the last phrase always remains the same. I like to use very natural sounds. Like on, on this particular track, I've used a clay pot, a very simple drum. In India, it's considered as a classical solo instrument, and it's called the guttam. And so we mic'd up the clay pot from inside. We dropped a microphone inside of the drum so we can get this real low note. And alongside with this, parallel with it, there's a very simple hi-hat pattern, which has been um, kind of produced on, on the sequencer, uh, on the cubase. So, you know, I like to use very, very natural sounds in music and keep the sample territory of sounds as representing sample technology and the natural sounds as natural, so you're giving importance and value to each, each and every instrument. As far as pads and chords are concerned, I like to base the music on Indian scales and Indian ragas, and which is very, in India, we use, the music we use is very modal. And in the West, there's more of a sense of harmony as in chords and, and different groups and configurations of notes playing with each other. At my parents' place, they had the Asian radio, Sunrise radio on, and I heard a voice. She had this amazing grace and modulation happening with her voice, where she was using the aesthetics of Indian classical music, you know, and she turned the tune into something else. This is about four years ago, when I was 14. Let's play some, let's do another intro for John. Yeah. Sort out a brand new intro. Well, let's get some vibes going first. <laughs> 
Oh, this is going to be mad. This is going to be crazy. Currently, I'm producing Amra's album. It's very exciting working with her because she's got great passion in what she's doing. Yeah, we'll do a brand new intro and then we can sort of link the lyrics. When we go on stage on Monday, we're going to do a track called John, which is on Sounds of the Asian Underground. And it's a hard-hitting track. I mean, it's not too hard, but it is a drum and bass track. There's hard beats on there. So we want to start off in a way which is quite mellow and soft. And um, so we decided to have a sort of intro before the song, just a sort of a few chords and just vocal, just vocal and keyboards. Well, let's, let's hear them. That is dark. That is dark. <laughs> basically a role model for a lot of Asian girls out there which don't have a chance to even go to clubs. Um, you know, I think that's brilliant. You know, Omar is, you know, we're representing the sounds of the Asian underground. Omar is going to take it over now. put some rhythm down, put a beat down or something, and then maybe do a, maybe sort of come up with a melody for the song. And then I find it easier to just sort of have the melody there and write to the melody. Um, and just basically just sometimes I can just sit in the studio and come up with, you know, good lyrics. But it's over, And that links with John. Yeah. The lyric, I mean, it's quite a romantic lyric. And if I translate it for you, it'd be quite corny. <laughs> the days are still. Oh, and time still sleep. Around the silhouette of you. My mind still creeps. I think as being Asian, second, third generation Asian, it's the time for not only non-Asians, but Asians themselves to realize we have a culture. We have a culture which doesn't exist back home in India, but a culture which exists here in Britain, which we need to feel proud about. Club or play a supporting massive attack or Bjork or whoever, 
they're touched by that. They're not touched by going to the South Bank and actually listening to just an Indian classical musician. I've got to be out there doing it for the kids. You know, I've got to be out there doing it.